driving for the invocation song. Jajavadana Om Gajanana Herumba Gajanana Jajavadana Om Gajanana Pahi Pahi Gajanana Parvati Nandana Gajanana Javadana Om Gajanana Herumba Gajanana Gajavadana Om Gajanana Please be seated. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you present here today on behalf of the chairman uh, and the dean, Dr. Suresh Ramanathan, to the grand academic event, Convocation 2023. May I request our chairman and dean to honor our chief guest with a ponade and memento, please. Thank you, sir. May I request our Dean, Dr. Suresh Ramnathan, to declare the convocation open? Uh, I hereby declare the 19th convocation open. Thank you, sir. May I now request the convener, Ms. Vimala, to introduce our chairman, Mr. Mohan Lakamraju. It is with great pleasure and honor that we gather to introduce a visionary leader whose contribution has left an indelible mark on our institution. Mohan Lakamraju is the founder and CEO of Great Learning an e-learning platform for working professionals to upgrade their competencies and succeed in the digital economy. He co-founded Great Learning with a vision to make it a life learning partner for young professional. Mohan also serves as the chairman and CEO of Great Lakes Institute of Management, one of India's leading business schools where he spearheads his growth and innovation. Over the past nine years, he set up and developed its second campus in Gurgaon. Before this, he was managing director India for Tiger Global, where he focused on investments in India and other emerging markets. He also spent close to 10 years in the Silicon Valley, first as an entrepreneur, helping build a SaaS company called Stratify, and then as a venture capitalist at Draper Fisher Mr. Lakamraju received his B.Tech in Computer Science from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, where he was the recipient of the Hugh Best Scholar Award, an M.S. in Computer Science from the University of California, Berkeley, where he was a recipient of the Regents Fellowship and an M.B.A. from Stanford Business School, where he was the recipient of the David Packard Fellowship. He is very passionate about high-quality education and its ability to transform one's life. Having experienced it firsthand and has made it his mission to enable others to have similar transformational opportunities. Please join me in welcoming and expressing our heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Mohan Lakhraju, a leader who continues to inspire us to reach greater heights. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request our chairman, Mr. Mohan Lakamraju, to deliver the welcome address, please.
Good afternoon, everyone. Let me begin by extending a very warm welcome to our distinguished chief guest, Shri Mohan. Uh, to all of the parents of the students that are there here, a very, very warm welcome to you all. Thanks for joining us on this very important and momentous occasion. Also, welcome to my colleagues, our dean, um, our faculty, our staff, and fellow board members, and our guests from the industry. And last but most importantly, welcome to all of our students. Great to have you all here. So, I have known Mr. Mohan Redigaru for decades now, and our history, he may not remember it, but I have known him for a lot longer than he has known me. So, I share his name. His name is Mohan, and his son's name is Krishna, and my name is Mohan Krishna. His son and I studied together in 11th class. His daughter and my now wife were roommates in their graduate school. Okay. At, all, at that time, she was not my wife, and I didn't know that um, when, when they were doing that. So I actually... <laughs> so... And then I met him, um, you know, around the time um, I was getting married, and has since then um, I have admired him as a leader. I have been inspired by Mohan Redigaru, all the things that he has done. I have visited him many times at his house, um, sometimes to just eat, but many times to ask his guidance and advice. And over the course of the last um, now, 13, 14 years of my, um, or 15 years of my journey in India after I came back, I have consulted him pretty much at every major um, decision that I have taken. So thank you very much for that. Um, while this was all going on, he himself has built a phenomenal organization, um, Scient. Earlier it used to be called Infotech. And he has been a well-wisher of Great Lakes from the very beginning of Great Lakes. And he's been on the advisory board. He was very well known to our founder, Dr. Bala Balachandran. And he's been a well-wisher for us for a very, very long time. And at the appropriate time, he transitioned the leadership of that to his son, Krishna, who now heads the organization. And in the last um, maybe 10 years or so, has dedicated his uh, expertise to education in India. Um, I'm sure there are other things that uh, will be shared with you, but I know that he serves as the chairman, and I just learned that he is the longest running chairman uh, of any IIT in India. He is the chairman of IIT Roorkee and IIT Hyderabad. And he has been serving <laughs> higher education for a long time with his uh, expertise. And, uh, you know, given how uh, he is uh, enjoying it. He's, by God's grace, in very good health. So it looks like he's going to keep contributing for many, many years and decades, hopefully, and we'll all benefit. The country will benefit from his contribution. So a very warm welcome to you. I call him Mohan Reddy Uncle. So, <laughs> so very warm welcome to you, Mohan Reddy Uncle. But I think I could pull that off when I was in my 20s and 30s. I don't know if I can pull it off in my 40s. <laughs> so... Yeah, and then um, I want you all to, um, and this is something that I am doing that I am straight away borrowing from our guru and uh, founder, Dr. Bala. We miss him, I miss him, um, you know, but his blessings are always with us. And one of the things that he always did and which I would like you all to do is to stand up, turn around and thank your parents for everything that they have done for you. They are sitting over there, so all of the students, please stand up and thank them. Join your hands and thank them for what they have done for you. You wouldn't be here and you wouldn't have gotten to this point in your life 
without their contributions, without what they have done for you, and hopefully you acknowledge that, and this is your moment to do that publicly. Hopefully you feel that, that uh, you wouldn't be here without what they have done for you so far, and, and, and hopefully you will do that for the next generation yourself. So I won't take too much time because um, I would love to hear from uh, our, our esteemed chief guest, but there is one thing that I want to also talk about and acknowledge, the amazing miracle that happened yesterday, okay, with the landing of Chandrayaan-3. It's a very proud moment for all of us. Um, I was fortunate to follow um, the telecast and watch everything that happened. Um, and I was doing this at the airport in Bangalore while I was waiting to come here. Thankfully, my flight timing was such that it allowed me to watch the whole thing, uh, including um, our Prime Minister's speech and the ISRO leadership speech after that. What it reminded me is one of my favorite um, quotes. And I think it's appropriate for me to share this with you in, on this occasion. Success may manifest itself in a few big moments, but it is built in the many small moments every day. Okay, I'll repeat that. Success may manifest itself in a few big moments, but it's built in the many small everyday moments. Yesterday was an example of that. What we saw was the success of the lunar landing for the first time on the lunar south pole um, by ISRO, but what went into it, the countless years of effort, hard work, attention to detail, persistence, innovation, um, commitment to excellence, all of those happened over a long period of time by thousands of people who have also encountered failure, but it manifested itself in that big moment that made 1.4 billion people very proud and actually many more people uh, even outside of India, right? I think that quote that I shared applies as much to individuals, all of you, as well as organizations, okay? So the lesson, if, and if I have to share one, is that you will have your big moments, okay? Over the course of your professional career, you will have a few big moments. Some of you may be lucky and you may have more, others may have less, but it doesn't matter. Those moments are going to be the outcome of what happens on a daily basis. What do you do on a daily basis? What habits you follow? How much you continue to learn? How much you persist? What you believe and follow? All of those things, who you work with, are going to decide what those big moments are and when they will happen. But have faith that they will happen and focus on the small things instead. If you just wish for the big things and if you have all of your attention hinged on that, it is actually a recipe. It's usually a recipe for frustration, stress, okay? You don't control the big moments. The big moments are the outcome of the small moments, which is what you can control. So there are lots of lessons I can share with you. I won't, but I'll just leave you with this one thing. Focus on the small moments that you can control and the big moments will happen by themselves and have faith that they will. I wish you all the very best. Congratulations to all of you on this amazing occasion. For most of you, this will be, I think, for most of you, this will be the final um, degree uh, you will get. So relish the occasion. You earned it. You put in a lot of effort to get here. Enjoy the occasion. And I'm very happy to be sharing this with you. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much, sir. May I now request the convener, Ms. Vemala, to introduce our Dean, Dr. Suresh Ramanathan.
I'm delighted to introduce our beloved Dean and Principal, Dr. Suresh Ramanathan, who is a renowned educator and an expert in research methods and statistics. Dr. Suresh Ramanathan has a BTEC from IIT Delhi and an MBA from IAM Calcutta, and received his PhD in marketing from the Stern School of Business at New York University, following which he spent nine years at the renowned Booth School of Business in Chicago eight years as an endo professor at the Mays Business School in Texas, a and till his move as Dean and Principal to Great Lakes Institute of Management in 2019. May I now request our Dean, Dr. Suresh Ramnathan, to present the academic highlights, the annual report of the passing out batch. Good afternoon, everybody. Respected Chief Guest, Sri Mohan Ridigaru, thank you for coming here. Uh, Founder Chairman of Scient, Sri Mohan Lakham Raju, Chairman of the Board of Directors, Great Lakes Institute of Management, distinguished guests, members of the faculty and staff at Great Lakes, the graduating class of 2023, parents, family members, friends of our graduates, it is my singular honor to welcome you to the 19th annual convocation of Great Lakes Institute of Management, Chennai. Before I begin, let me also raise a loud cheer for the success of the Chandrayaan mission. The scientists in charge, please, The scientists in charge of this mission made the improbable possible, pursued it with passion, and focused on it with purpose. These are themes that I will return to later in my speech. Dear graduates, you are here because of some very, very important people who made it possible for you. You have already stood up and applauded for them, but the radiant faces, you know, with my kind of fading eyesight, I can only see, you know, a little further out here, but I'm assuming very clearly that the radiant faces of your families and close friends gathered here, parents, grandparents, spouses, partners, siblings, uh, aunts and uncles, nephews or nieces, they reveal the pride and the joy that they're brimming with today. They have supported you all through this amazing, incredible transformational journey. They gave you the courage to challenge yourselves and motivated you to achieve success. They provided you with both financial and emotional support. May I ask our graduates to let this hall resonate in loud applause for everything that they have done for you. Thank you. Hiding among you in plain sight are 113 members of our staff from the program office, junior faculty, admin, CAA, CCS, you know them, resource center, branding and PR, alumni relations, finance and accounts, IT, corporate learning and development, karma yoga. They work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that everything goes smoothly. Some of you, you may have interacted with on a daily basis, others occasionally, and still others only indirectly. But regardless, they were the ones who ensured that you had a terrific experience on campus from the day you entered the gates to the day you exited. Many of you may have seen them manning the registration stalls today or assisting you or your loved ones to be seated. Please show them your gratitude for everything they have done.
over 130 members of our wonderful faculty, both full-time and visiting, were the agents of your transformation. They had a profound influence on your intellectual journey. They challenged you, pushed you out of your comfort zone, exhorted you to think critically and connect the dots, gave you impossible assignments that helped increase 3 a.m. sales at the Snack Hub. Today, many of them sit here with me proudly watching you wear those graduation robes as you embark on your new careers. Let's hear it for them too. You've been guided every step of the way by a wonderful group of program directors. They have listened to every complaint of yours, counseled you through every problem that you may have faced, mentored you through the program. Their tireless dedication is the reason I can stand here proudly to celebrate your success. Professor Sanjoy Sarkar, who leads the one-year PGPM program. <laughs> Professors Raj Shankar and Sandeep Srivatsan, who led the PGDM program. <laughs> Professor D. Sriram, who has just taken over from Professor Srivatsan this year. Professor Ilan Kumaran, who led our PGPM Flex program for 10 long years before stepping down. And Professor Srivatsan has taken over from him. And last but not the least, the irrepressible Professor Ishwar Krishna Iyer. <laughs> who has guided our PGP, uh, PGXPM program. Please bring the house down for them again. Of the 337 students who formed part of the awesome Ahomes PGPM class of 2023, and in addition, one student from the chivalrous Chaluk uh, Chalukyas class of 2022, 274 are here in the audience today. 71 of these students are women. 217 students from the Chalukyas PGDM class of 21-23 are graduating today with a whopping 36% of them women. 116 of these students are in attendance today. Six of the top 10 students in the PGDM batch are women. Congratulations. We also have members of our executive MBA programs present here, 36 members of our 2020-22 uh, Explorers batch, two from the 2018-20 Challengers batch, and one from the 1921 Falcons batch of the Flex program are graduating today. Again, a whopping 36% of our Explorers batch are women, the highest ever. Likewise, we have 16 out of 26 graduating students of the 21-23 NEOS batch of the XPM program here. We welcome you all. I would like to begin by talking about three key dimensions of our future. I didn't say your future, I said our future. It's a shared future, one where you and Great Lakes will be forever intertwined. Let me tell you about them. They are possibilities, not pessimism. Passion, not passivity. And purpose, not pride. At the last convocation, we graduated students who had passed through probably some of the toughest times the world has ever known not knowing how the future would be after the pandemic. 100% of them were placed. Today, we wake up to a world of possibilities rather than pessimism. New vistas are opening up as the power of generative AI is being harnessed by businesses around the world. The Indian economy is booming and opportunities abound. You are the chosen ones. 
You are the harbingers of change. At a time when many are wondering what the future will be like, you are the future. Armed with the knowledge and skills that you have acquired here at Great Lakes, you're now ready to put them to use in solving the difficult questions you may face in your new roles. But let me tell you one thing. You have survived Pro Professor Vishwanathan Iyer and Professor D. Sriram's class. There's nothing more difficult than that. Equally, Great Lakes Chennai is embracing the power of possibilities. It now looks remarkably prescient that we created a full-fledged specialization in analytics, which we call AIMLAB, where we had artificial intelligence and machine learning more than five years ago. Today, we are constantly reviewing our curriculum, listening to our key stakeholders to ensure that our students are future ready. The recent grant of autonomy by AICT, occasioned by a stellar rating of our programs by the National Bureau of Accreditation, the NBA, will allow us to launch innovative programs, including an online PGDM that can help us reach a much wider base of prospective students and allow us to offer dual MBA programs in partnership with foreign institutions. We are restructuring the curriculum for the PGP Flex program and the PG XPM program from the coming year to make them more contemporary and market relevant. We are creating new knowledge through research and original case studies. Just to give you an example, our professors have been working on business applications of image recognition and the role of the metaverse. The impact of some of these changes have been, has been seen in the stupendous placements achieved by our students this year. Not only were all our students placed, as is the case every single year since our inception, but both our PGPM and our PGDM students received excellent offers from marquee companies such as Adobe, Accenture, Bain, FedEx, ITC, McKinsey, Microsoft, Nestle, Reliance Re Retail, just to name a few. Our students have taken up roles in business and strategy consulting, technology consulting, product management, banking and finance, sales and marketing, analytics and operations. So, I can just say, we will create new possibilities together. The second dimension I want to touch upon is passion, not passivity. Now, passion is such a power-packed word. But what other word could I use to describe the unbridled enthusiasm shown by all of you in celebrating your time at Great Lakes? You were vocal. You expressed yourself. I saw that when over 200 students marched on the Pride Walk expressing their solidarity with the cause. I saw that when we all danced, myself included, at Le Ball. I saw that on the sporting arena. I saw that in the classroom. That passion is what keeps us going. Great Lakers are not passive. They don't stand and watch the world go by. Your energy, energy and enthusiasm fuel your growth. Channelize it. Harness your curiosity. Let it take you to newer frontiers of learning. Don't ever assume that you have learned all that you need to. Your journey has just begun. Our own institutional passions were best expressed in the launch of a memorial space this year for the man who made all of this possible. The memory of Dr. Bala, the founder of Great Lakes, is enshrined in a wonderful architectural tribute on campus. There is simply no one who could match up to his energy and his farsightedness. Dr. Bala was a man who wore his heart on his sleeve and symbolized not only his own unbounded passion for education, but that of thousands of students whose life, life he helped influence most profoundly. Here was a man who was active even at the age of 84. 
till his last day. Passivity was not a word in Dr. Bala's dictionary. I invite you all to visit campus and spend a little time at this wonderful memorial space, reflecting upon him, reflecting upon what he meant to you. The final dimension I would like you all to consider is purpose, not pride. For many among you, the purpose you entered Great Lakes was to land a good job with a good salary. Others wanted a jump in their career, perhaps transitioning to managerial roles from functional ones. However, we must embrace a larger purpose, one where we can give something back to society. Dr. Bala used to say that there are three stages in life. Yearn to learn, learn to earn, and earn to return. Think about how you can make that difference. It's good to be proud of one's accomplishments. And indeed, there is much to celebrate today. But let this pride not come at the cost of others. At Great Lakes, we are pursuing a forward-thinking agenda rooted in social engagement. This past year, we launched the Center for Women Leadership under the le uh, leadership of Professor Rajeshwari. The center has just launched an ambitious career returnship program called Encore in partnership with leading organizations for women who have been out of the workforce for a few years, providing training in both functional and soft skills supported by coaching and mentoring. This year, we are also embarking on an ambitious social change project partnering with an NGO and a microfinance bank to provide vocational skilling and funding to tribal women in the villages around our campus as part of a revamped Karma Yoga program. We hope to bring about long-term change in these villages through women empowerment. I did say pride is bad, but I cannot help feel proud of some of our accomplishments this year. To begin with, we received a stellar score from the National Bureau of Accreditation, NBA, that not only provided accreditation for a full term of six years, but also grants us category one autonomy, which allows us to launch innovative programs, enter into partnership with top foreign universities and institutions, and hire foreign faculty as needed. We also received reaccreditation. thank you. We also received reaccreditation from the South Asian Quality System, SAQS, and our PGDM program was recognized by the Association of Indian Universities as equivalent to an MBA. We are now on the final glide path towards receiving accreditation from the prestigious AACSB and will have the peer review team visiting our campus next month. This Dr. Bala used to call the mother of all accreditations. So we are hoping that we will get it very, very soon. <laughs> Great Lakes Chennai continues to shine as a top private business school in the country. Outlook India ra rated as third amongst private standalone institutions and gave us top honors in South India. Business Today ranked us 18th overall amongst all institutions and second placed in the South. Business India ranked us 12th overall. Business Standard features us in the Super League 2 uh, together with other top schools such as SPJN and IM Kori Code. We ranked among the top 10 private business schools on the NIRF rankings. Our students have participated in numerous competitions and 42 of them won top honors or top 10 finishes uh, this year. <laughs> Our faculty have covered themselves in glory in creating knowledge not just disseminating it. Research and knowledge creation is a key indicator of reputation for an institution and contributes significantly to how it is ranked. It's a matter of pride for me to report this. In just the last four months, our faculty have publish, published 16 academic articles, two of which are in the topmost FT50 category. This is on top of the 29 articles that were published last year, whole of last year. We organized three wonderful conferences, uh, the annual finance conference, which focused on wealth creation in the VUCA world, the inspiring change conference, which examined the important topic of paid employ, uh, employment for Indian women, 
and the Great Lakes NASME Marketing Conference, which brought scholars from around the world to engage with faculty and doctoral students from various institutions around the country. So that's about all our highlights. Graduating class of 2023, brace yourself. You are entering a brave new world. It's not that dystopian world that was depicted by Aldous Huxley, uh, Huxley in his novel called Brave New World, but you're entering a world of opportunities. You have a lot to look forward to. Yet never lose sight of the fire in your belly. I'm not referring to the cafeteria food. I'm referring to that insatiable passion for learning, that curiosity that leads to discovery, and the larger purpose that has guided each step of your journey here. These are the compass points of your future. And remember, it's not just what happened within the campus, but all those educational trips that you took to Mahabalipuram and Pondicherry, <laughs> those were also learning experiences. I'm sure you did. Go forth with the courage to explore the unknown, the zeal to embrace opportunities, and the wisdom to live a life imbued with purpose. Your story is just beginning, and we cannot wait to see where it takes you. Congratulations. May your path be filled with the joy of discovery and the fulfillment of dreams achieved. I would now like to formally welcome you to being a part of our 10,000 plus alumni in 33 countries. As Dr. Bala always used to say, your network is your net worth. Stay engaged, provide us your inputs, mentor the, the next generation of students, take lectures, keep the Great Lakes flag always flying high. Stay strong, stay focused, lead by example. Jai Hind, Jai Great Lakes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I now request our convener, Ms. Vimla, to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri BVR Mohan Reddy, Founder, Chairman, and Board Member, Scient. It's a privilege to introduce a distinguished individual whose visionary leadership and entrepreneurial spirit have left an unforgettable mark on the world of business and innovation. Shri BVR Mohan Reddy, the founder, chairman, and board member of Saint, is a visionary who firmly positioned India on the Global Engineering Research and Development Services map by establishing Saint, formerly Infotech Enterprises, in 1991. He created the Engineered in India brand, guiding Saint to contribute over $6.5 billion in cumulative exports from India to global clients including Fortune 100 companies. Formerly the chairman of NASCOM in 2015 to 16, Dr. Reddy also held office as chairman of CII, Southern Region, and chairman of CII Educational Council between 2020 to 23. He is the founding director of T-Hub, India's largest startup incubation center. Co-chairing the B20 Task Force on Future of Work, Skilling, and Mobility, Dr. Reddy collaborates with 150 global experts to provide recommendations to the G20 Secretariat. Promoting higher education, he is currently chairman of the Board of Governors of IIT Hyderabad and IIT Roorkee, part of the Leadership Advisory Board of the University of Michigan College of Engineering, and in the Court of Governors of Administrative Staff College of India. Recipient of India's Padma Shri and the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, CIE Division, Distinguished Leadership Award, he has received Lifetime Achievement Awards from various organizations. He is a distinguished alumnus of IIT Kanpur and the University of Michigan and a fellow of the Institution of Engineers, India. He has also been conferred honorary doctorates from JNTU Hyderabad, JNTU Kakinada, Andhra 
University, KL University, Yogi Vemana University, and Vale Tech University. Thank you, Sri BVR Mohan Reddy, for your invaluable contributions and for setting a shining example of what a true leader can achieve. Your story will continue to guide and motivate us on our journeys of growth and impact. Thank you for the introduction, ma'am. May I uh, please request our Honorable Chief Guest to deliver the graduation address, please. Chairman, uh, Board of Governors, uh, Sri Mohan Lakam Raju, Dean and uh, Principal, Dr. Uh, Suresh uh, Ramanathan, esteemed uh, faculty members, distinguished uh, guests, proud parents, most importantly, the brilliant graduating class of Great Lake Institute of Management. Good evening to all of you. Good evening. Thank you. I feel very privileged to be the chief guest at your uh, 19th convocation ceremony. At the outset, let me express uh, my deep admiration for the founder and my dear brother, Professor Bala Balchandran, for his vision and his commitment in laying the foundation for a world-class business school. Great Lakes has rapidly gained uh, recognition, as was told uh, by Professor Ramnathan uh, to us earlier today, uh, in terms of um, making sure that it becomes uh, a leading business school in this country, thanks to the relentless efforts of your outstanding chairman, Sri Mohan Lakram Raju. Let's give a round of applause to uh, my nephew. In addition, of course, the dean, faculty, esteemed advisory council, and the international partnerships have helped the institute to be where it is today. The institution's um, unwavering um, focus on academic excellence innovation uh, in teaching methods, the industry-oriented programs have rightfully earned a strong standing in the field of management education. Congratulations to everyone at uh, Great Lakes for the commendable efforts in nurturing the future leaders and entrepreneurs, fostering innovation, and promoting the values that uh, will shape a bright future for them and for us. So let's join our hands to thank all the people at the Great Lake Institute. Today we are celebrating not just um, the successful culmination of your academic endeavors, but also the commencement of a fresh phase in your personal and professional lives. As proud graduates of Great Lakes Institute, Institute's business program, you have not only acquired vast breadth of knowledge in the realm of management, but also honed invaluable skills in integrating leadership principles with the art of uh, effective management. So now, allow me to uh, extend my hearty congratulations to all of those people graduating today. <laughs> congratulations. As we uh, venture into this exciting new phase of your life, sorry, as you venture into this exciting new phase of life, I call upon you for, to pause for a moment and reflect on the notable figures who have played an important role in your journey thus far. As Professor Bala would always say, your parents, your teachers, your friends, and most notably, this institution. As you bask on this glory of your accomplishments, remember to extend your heartfelt appreciation to those who have contributed to your success. Seize this opportunity to express your sincere gratitude 
and convey the profound significance for their resolute assistance. Can I request all of you to stand for a minute and give a thunder, thunderous applause to all the people who supported you. Thank you. Graduates, by now you should have recognized that um, through my introduction, largely I am an entrepreneur. I spent a fairly large part of my life in the corporate world. But for the last 30 years, I've been a full-fledged role as an entrepreneur who constantly innovated, re-innovated myself and my company, which we originally called it as Infotech, and then it became signed in the last uh, eight, nine years. 2014 is when we rebranded ourselves. Like many other first-generation entrepreneurs, I also started small. I started my company in my modest home on my dining table with four engineers. That was 1992, 30 years. Fast forward, we now employ 16,000 plus professionals in, in 22 countries around the world. And the 20 lakhs of rupees have grown to become 20,000 plus crores of market valuation. And of course, we also exported as much as about $7.7 .7 billion worth of software services since our inception. So India needs more of these entrepreneurial successful stories. So you might ask me why? Why do you require these stories? Because we need more amount of entrepreneurship. You might then ask me this question, why entrepreneurship, Mr. Reddy? Let me tell you why. Set the sto stage right before I talk about entrepreneurship. India today, I'm sure most, most of you, if not all of you are aware, has a tremendous amount of benefit from what is known as the demographic dividend, which means the working age population of people are higher than the non-working age population. So in the age group of 18 years to 63 years, today has about, India has about 63% of their population, which is a boom for a nation. We have seen this demographic dividend working so well for countries like Japan, Korea, China, where economies have improved. The uh, cost of living, sorry, the uh, per capita GDP has improved. Comforts have improved for the nations. But here comes the catch along with that. As a result of this demographic dividend, what comes out is that you put a million people every month into streets of India for jobs, or it's 10 million people every uh, year, or there are 100 million people that require jobs in the next 10 years. Our demographic dividend will last at least much longer than that. I just took this window of 10 years. Here is one other fact that um, maybe some of you are familiar with, is that there is evidence at this point of time that 63% of net new jobs that are created anywhere in the world are created by small and medium enterprises, including the startups. Actually, there's an evidence which says between two, uh, 1993 and 2011, Jobs created in the United States, 63% of jobs created in the United States were by the small and uh, medium companies. So therefore, there's an enormous amount of need to start these companies. The startups, as they're called, in the uh, flavor of the last couple of decades. But then, added to that, you'll also find, to do a startup at this point of time, I think uh, our chairman, uh, Mohan Lakam Raju mentioned about it, is technology at its best. Technology provides enormous amount of opportunities for you. At times, I keep joking with people, I wish I was born now. I wasn't born 72 years back when opportunities were not as many as what you see today. 
So you have, on one side, a need for starting up companies. You have opportunities. And here is the last one that I'll share before I switch to entrepreneurship, is that if you go back and Google on this word called entrepreneurship, what is entrepreneurship? It tells you saying that entrepreneur is one who has a business idea. He or she takes a lot of risks with economic benefit to accrue to them. That's what it says. It's a good definition. But to me, entrepreneurship is much beyond this definition. Entrepreneurs participate in nation building. Entrepreneurs create jobs. Entrepreneurs created wealth for this nation by, by creating so much amount of foreign exchange. In 1991, when I started this co company, India was in precise situation as where Sri Lanka is today. We were unable to pay our foreign debt. Sheepishly, the then government was sending out, smuggling literally, gold from India to Bank of London to pay for the debt we had. Where are we today? We have about $573 billion worth of foreign exchange with us. Who made this happen? It's the industry which made it happen. Of course, supported by the policy regimes. So therefore, please be aware, entrepreneurship is much beyond wealth creation. It's important. You also participate in nation building. After hearing all those words of wisdom from both uh, our chairman, uh, Mohan Lakam Raju, and Professor Ram Nathan, I decided that I'll move away from that uh, plank and get to tell you a little, about, little more about what do you need to do to become an entrepreneur? What are the key things that you need to think about before you become an entrepreneur? You need to be very careful about my time, but I'll, I'll make sure I'll close it out fairly soon. The first and the foremost is, uh, unless you want to become an entrepreneur, don't become one. So I think Professor Ramnathan used this word called fire in the belly. I use that fairly frequently, Professor Ramnathan. You have to have that passion. You want to become one. It's not somebody comes in, tells you that you, know, you need to become an entrepreneur. That passion in you, that dream in you, that says, you know, look, I want to build something. I want to prosper, all right, but I want to also contribute back to the society, is what will make you an entrepreneur. Several people come to me and say, sir, my son wants to become an entrepreneur. I want him to become an entrepreneur. Give me an idea to make him an entrepreneur. I keep telling them that's sure sauce for disaster. So the first is that. And the second one is that you also keep in mind, as I want all of you to become entrepreneurs, but you need to find a real problem. Don't imagine problems sitting in your offices. Get to grassroots and find out a problem that is there, which is, exten which is existential, which can create a social impact, which can solve the problem, which can uplift the economy, it can improve the comforts of people. So do not get into an imaginative environment to say that I solve a problem, a problem which is not in existence. So what did I do? I found, and just now, um, Chairman Lakam Raju asked me this question, why did you get into engineering? So I keep saying entrepreneurs always look for a space which is not already occupied. In 1991, my big brothers were already there in industry. The Infosys, the Wipros, the HCLs, and the TCSs were all doing millions of dollars worth of software exports, software services exports. I wanted to be different. I saw this opportunity in terms of providing engineering as a service. To get you in a simpler terms, I design aircraft engines for Pratt & Whitney. I design fuselage for Airbus, Boeing, Embraer, you name them. I design nuclear power plants for Westinghouse. That's the service I offer to people. So therefore, what you have to keep in mind is if a real, what was this um, uh, uniqueness that's there? The uniqueness was all about 
providing something which was not being done by others, yes, and creating enormous amount of employment. So before you start an, uh, a business enterprise, you should think about many other facets that are there. Do you have those skills to do it? Do you have the enough of funds to do it? That's why it took me, I did work for 18 years before I became an entrepreneur. So therefore, what you have to keep in mind if you want to become an entrepreneur is to think about a real problem, a unique problem. Closely on the heels comes the next step is that you also need to have a unique solution. Otherwise, what is the competitive advantage that you have? People ask me this question saying that, Mr. Reddy, what's the competitive advantage I had to start with? Unashamedly, I keep saying I had number one was the quality advantage. Actually, a number of my customers were very perplexed at the way in which we could design products for them. The quality with which we delivered, we had the advantage in terms of cost, and we had the advantage in terms of on-time delivery. People in this country, and especially from the area that I come from, the province I come from, from the city of Hyderabad, there's this word called kal. Kal can be tomorrow, kal can be yesterday. So people said, when do you deliver, kal ho jayega zaap. When will kal come? It will never come. Tomorrow never comes, right? So therefore, your ability to say, I can uniquely do one thing, is that I will build the trust of my customer in ensuring that I can live up to the promises that I make. I asked one of my customers, who today is a $100 million customer for me, saying that what attracts you to us? And he used this word called trust. And I asked him, please define what is trust. He said, according to him, it was under promise and over deliver. So the third one is that the solution has to be unique. And the solution cannot be unique perpetually. Because what is unique today cannot be unique tomorrow. Somebody else, because of a technology disruption or because of an innovation that they have, they can come out with a solution which is superior to you. So you have to, therefore, be on the heels in terms of continuously innovating yourself. We innovated the company from a delivery-oriented organization to a domain-led industry organization. We therefore, thereafter, we really don't provide services these days. We provide solutions to them. People come with a concept, I deliver a product back to them, including an aircraft engine. So that is how you constant, this is today, what you are looking at um, further, as we do to the, trans, the transition that's happening in the company today, is that we are more becoming consulting company. We are advising people, companies around the world on technology, saying that where does the future lie and what should be the technologies that they use, should use for future products that they build. So third point is, or, uh, you should be very unique, continuously innovating yourself. And the fourth one to me is customer is God. I used to ask this question to a number of my bright young uh, trainees, all right, asking them, who pays your salary? Pat came the reply saying that, why does this man you ask this very dumb question? I used to look at them more closely. So I used to say, sir, you pay the salary. Sorry, I never pay the salary. I'm only in between the customer and you. The customer pays you. So to us, customer satisfaction is something of utmost importance. That's what every startup has to do. We have customers who have been stuck to us, touch wood, for 25 years. I have a customer who is there for us, not only for 25, we have one more with 21 years of standing with us. We have a track record that we have 99% of the time, our customers never leave us. I'm sure uh, the uh, new generation uh, startups understand what's called as a churn. So we have the lowest amount of churn. And how do you do that? We measure our customer satisfaction thrice over. And in every facet that you live in, you have to do the same. We measure once, which is called transactional MFA, that I submit something to my customer, they should tell me how good or bad it is. I do a periodic MFA, that's every three months, I go back to the customer asking feedback. That's at a manager level. 
And every year, we have a third party which comes in and does this feedback from our customers. So if you put all these three things together and work on top of it, that's when you get this customer stickiness. And the next one I'll say is that, please, if you want to do a startup, please, please think about money first. Number of people want to do a startup, great ideas they have. The idea could be outstanding, but they don't have enough money to do it. Very optimistic, my business will start fun funding myself. It will never fund, you'll get grounded. So the result is funding becomes extremely important and don't raise money when you really are desperate for it. Because when you go and beg people for money, they never give you. When will they give you is when you don't need it. So plan it well. I'm not saying, therefore, please go ahead and raise money whenever you like and when, uh, uh, whatever you like. Never, they'll not give you either. You got to have a good cause for raising the money. I raised money thrice over. First time I said I was doing an IPO, very early in my life, 1997 this company went IPO. We did the second round, that IPO was basically for um, consolidating ourselves. We said we need to have physical presence across the geography. We had the courage in terms of going and buying companies in UK, Germany, and then USA. And that was the money I used for building the first geographic footprint, the money I raised. The second time I raised was basically a strategic investor. The investor who now converted himself to be a $100 million account for me. And he's exited from my company, all right, but he continues to be a customer. And the third is when we wanted to have growth, we went to General Atlantic, one of the very reputed private equity players. So therefore, money becomes important, so don't, uh, uh, don't uh, dilute the importance of money. And the final two things is team is important. Without a team, you can never happen, and especially you're all young people. People like me started becoming an entrepreneur at the age of 40. Whereas you want to become an entrepreneur at 23, 24, 22, wherever, they are, wherever you are. So unless you have a collaborative team which supplements each other in terms of your skills, it becomes very, very difficult to build an organization. And when you start building the teams, one of the mistakes the entrepreneurs make, or the startups do, is that they want to keep all the wealth for themselves. So please bear one thing in mind, that wealth has always to be shared with the wealth creators. Literally 7.5% of our company, which is now valued at about 22,000 crores as the market we're closing today, is with our employees. How much more satisfaction you get when people come and say, sir, my son is going abroad because of this company. I built a home because of this company. My daughter is getting married with this company's money. So that is one satisfaction, but importantly, that's when you build the loyalty with the people. That's when they work for you. And lastly, and the most importantly to me, values are very important. To me, I think, you know, unless companies believe in terms of values, we built a company on a very strong foundation. We use this word called values first, F-I-R-S-T. Fairness, respect, integrity, sincerity, and trust. So, and as uh, Chairman using something slightly different, but, uh, or what he was quoting uh, Professor uh, Bala, but I keep saying the value of an individual is some total of the values that they have. So values become very important. Ethics become very impo equally important. Do ethical business, otherwise businesses don't last. And governance becomes equally important. I keep saying, God I believe in, I never get to see him. But the regulator, I see him, and I better behave with him or her. So therefore, to really build a sustainable, successful company, I would certainly put my hand in my heart and say that it took me a long time, but we built one. We built with, on the cardinal principles of saying we will respect our values, our foundations will never change. We have four stakeholders, and that is my customer, my investor, my employee, and my society. And I'll be equitable to all the four stakeholders. 
So therefore, these are a few lessons I thought I'll share with you this uh, afternoon and conclude by saying that in India's um, major achievement yesterday, I don't know how many of you were tracking this part, there were 124 startups were also involved in the whole project. That was very well acknowledged by um, the chairman of ISRO, Somnath. So therefore, the need of the hour is startups. So think about startups yourself. If you have the passion, build one. And so what do I say is dream big. And put that into the dream, funnel into this passion that you have for entrepreneurship. And that's when you'll be successful. Congratulations again, congratulations again to the class of 2023. Grow forth and make you as proud. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiring speech, sir. Uh, we now request our Dean, Dr. Suresh Ramanathan, to approve the graduate list and the award procession. Thank you, uh, Redigaru, uh, for your very inspiring address. Uh, so I would now like to ask the members of the Academic Council, does it please the members of the Academic Council to approve the award of certificates of the Institute to the candidates who have become eligible to receive them at this convocation. Thank you. I now request the convener to present the award winners of all the programs to this August assembly. I request the chief guest, chairman, and dean to do the honors and present the gold medal to the award winners, please. For PGXPM, we have Medhora Raymond Cyrus, who have got two gold medals for being the academic topper and the best outgoing students. She also receives a cash award. He also receives a cash award of rupees two lakhs. PGPM Flex, Kripa Shri. She gets a gold medal for being the academic topper and a cash award of rupees one lakh. Sri Ranjani TS gets the best outgoing student award with a cash award of rupees one lakh. Now for the PGDM program, Srinidhi KS gets two gold medals for being the academic topper and the domain topper in finance. She also gets a cash award of rupees two lakhs. L. 
Venkatraman gets a gold medal for being the best outgoing student male in PGDM and gets a cash award of rupees 2 lakhs. Somdatta Majumdar gets the best outgoing student female and gets a cash award of rupees 2 lakhs. Kay Atula gets a gold medal for being the domain topper in marketing. Malbari Harsha Sashikumar gets a gold medal for being the domain topper in operations. Manon Mani Lakshmanan gets a gold medal for being part of the Finance and Economics Committee and for her exemplary work in that. V. Padma Priya gets a gold medal for her excellent performance in Consulting Committee. Yuganj Bajaj gets a gold medal for his exemplary performance in marketing committee. Arundhati Banerjee gets a gold medal for her excellent performance in Center for Women Leadership Committee. Sankusare Srina Prakash gets a gold medal for his performance in TEDx event. For her performance in TEDx event, I'm sorry. Kavala Kashyap gets a gold medal for his performance in Branding and Public Relations Committee. Abhilash Jayashankar gets a gold medal for his excellent performance in events committee. Moving on to the PGPM program, Prithvi T gets two gold medals for his 
performance as an academic topper and domain topper in operation, he also gets a cash award of rupees 2 lakhs. Raj Mehta gets a gold medal for his performance as the best outgoing student male and he also gets a cash award of rupees 2 lakhs. Mrudula Palur is the best outgoing student female. She also gets a cash award of rupees 2 lakhs. Ayush Kumar Sinha gets a gold medal for being the domain topper in finance and accounting. Pratyusha Chitala gets a gold medal for being the domain topper in marketing and sales. Chaitanya Modi gets a gold medal for being part of the Finance and Economics Committee and for his exemplary work in it. Karthik Jairam gets a gold medal for his excellent performance in Center for Women Leadership Committee. Srinathes gets a gold medal for his excellent performance in Center for Women Leadership Committee. Kanke Yogesh Arun gets a gold medal for being an excellent performer in Student Academic Committee. G. Murali Dharan gets a gold medal for his excellent performance in the Center for Women Leadership Committee. Boba Sai Rohit gets a gold medal for his excellent performance in Analytics Committee. Now, may I please request the directors of PGXPM, PGPM Flex, PGDM, and PGPM please present all the candidates who have become eligible for the award of degree and to receive them at this convocation.
As the program director, I have the honor of presenting 26 students who have become eligible to receive their certificates for PG XPM, batch of 2023, 20, at this convocation, duly approved by the Academic Council of this institute in person as well as in absentia. J. Kumar K. Ankit Arora. Lokesh G. Rahul Roy. Minakshi Devi. Raja V. Sridhar Yes. <coughs> B.B. Krishna Kumar. Jagadish Gutti. U. Prakash Krishnan. Shushant Thakur. Praveen R. B. Balanaranjan Kumar. Ashok Kumar S. Yes. Ishan Kamra. Rohit Balakrishnan. Deepak Sridhar. Shashi Kumar, yes. Bharti Raja K. Kartik Sainath. Rahul and Kota Patanam Suresh Babu
As program director of PGPM Flex, I have the honor of presenting 39 students who have become eligible to receive the certificate PGPM Flex badges of 2023 at this convocation duly approved by the Academic Council of this Institute in person as well as in absentia. Mr. R. Aravind. Yam Gurumurti. Anand B. Anjana Mohan. Ashwin. Ashwin Rajasheka. Bharat TR. Yes, Geeta Rani. Guru Bhaskar. Hari Yal. Hari Priya. Jaffa Sharif. Jude Samuel. Kishan. Lokesh. Mahita. Prashant. Princey. Seshadri. Singaraj. Balaji Srinivas. Suman Kumar. Surya Swati
Muhammad Vidya Vishnu Yashwant Manish Bertila Kartik Satish Vairamuttu Aishwarya Thank you very much As program director, I have the honor of presenting 217 students who have become eligible to receive the certificates of PGDM Bachelors of 2023 at this convocation, duly approved by the Academic Council of this institute in person as well as in absentia. Others judge. Richolkar Akash Rajendra. Amarnath Vinupal Anupragada Diraj Paranjpe Anushka Sunil Arindam Roy Aritra Datta Yanaram Chadin Rajvaidyam Kashish Dua Mahima Chopra Malavika Vijay Kumar Jishnu
Madhav Singh. Mohit Dugar. Path Mangal. Prachi Nigi. Pradeep Jain. Pranav. Pratisha Dinkar. Pulkit Singhal. Rishabh Chorarian. Rishika Agarwal. Riya Chopra. Rohit Vargis Alex. Sachi Devdani. Vadwani Sahil Harish Kumar. Sahit Malampati. K. Santana Krishnan. Sharma Suleka Surendra Mohan. Swamato Mugarchi. Swen Shaji. Trinetra, yes. Vaibhav Yadav. Vaishali. Vignesh Ramkumar. Dino James. Shivam Rajika. Amiya Ranjan Mishra. Nimisha Maria Abraham. Kulkarni Viraj Vikrant. Adarshini Povanan.
Dhruv Karan Singh. Sanjana Chatterjee. Potnuru Ashish Kumar. Hardik Dubey. Aditi Tiwari. Chiplunkar Aditya Ashish. Ankansha. Matur A. Babu Agarwal Chirag Ramesh Deepu Martin Deepak Dugal, Dipesh Agarwal, B. Haridi, Kritika Jain. Meera Shankar, Pankaj Kumar, Pratipa Grover, Pratima Deshmukh, Pratima Deshmukh. Pritom Sharma, Sri Sailesh Raj, Saumya Kulkarni, Shadman Akhtar, N. Srija, Sneha Mahajan, Subramaniam R.P., R.S. Surya Narayanan, Belit Vishnu Priya, Mohit Ajmera, Siddharth Jyoti, Bumu Pavitra, Hemant Kinka, M. Subramaniam, <laughs> M. 
विकास दर्शन और राहुल कृति नंदा पद्मा वी शैलेश कुमार शेख ईशान जहूर शेख मोहम्मद अरबाज नदीम अहमद सुप्रदीप वेणुगोपाल किलन वशिष्ठ कार्तिकेयन डी वेदन अध्या सुधांशु पानीग्रही अभिजीत महेंद्रन अभिरूप दत्ता वंडेपो अनुष एन अनीश अनिकेत कुमार पाठक अपूर्वा रस्तोगी आयुष कंदेलवाल चेतन नरेश गोयल दिशन जैन करो ग्रोवर टी एस अशित हेलना जस्टिन यशस्वी मोहंती वायनेक देवनाथ मोहित गुप्ता मुत्तन अगाखर नाहूश रमेश ओइंड्रिलास सरकार राज महेश्वरी तानवी
निष्ठा बंसाली ऋत्विक आर जैन साक्षम अकोरी अमन कुमार अविनाश पणिग्रही स्नेहा स्नेहांजन ससमल रिया नारंग सार्थक पालीवाल समृत गोलेचा सपना प्रसाद शिनान सजी जेकब मलेवल विवेक नायर नवीन माणकेश्वर सिंग सिद्धार्थ संतोष सिमरन कौर अवल विधि गोयल यशवंत सुबदा कुआली बोरा तमन्ना हुसैन राघव बंसाल निलेश बदारी नायन लहरी सर्वेश मुंद्रा ध्रुव दुआ राय तथा दीपेन भवेश सर्वया जनीश शिबी आदवन श्री विद्या जी श्री शशांक श्रीनिवासन सुजीत सेलवन वेदांत राजनीश कर्नाटक मुस्कान खरबंदा मूर्ति गगनदीप सिंह
Aditya Shankar, Priyanka, Tushar Mahata, Akshita Taldreja, Aditi Tiwari, Akanksha Bhagavati, Alan Vargis, Anirudh Panikar, Ankit Kalra, Arundhati Jagadish, Rishika Chandra, Nikita Anand, Pranavi Balaji, Kishan, Neha Lahoti, Swati Rani, Pratana Narang Pratik Agarwal Ravi Kumar Rahul Radisha Christie, Priya Tulsian, and Indrajit. As program director, <clears throat> I have the honor of presenting 338 students who have become eligible <laughs> to receive their certificates of PGPM batches of 2023 at this convocation duly approved by the Academic Council of this Institute in person as well as in absentia. Chandramani Mishra, Aditya Chandramani, come. Ajmal Hussain, Akshita Mavadi, Arvind Narayan, come here. Biladal Sarkar, wait, wait, wait. Chaitanya Raheja.
ದಿವ್ಯಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಪಾತ್ರ ದೀಪೇಶ್ ತಾಲ್ವಿ ಜೋಯಲ್ ಆಂತೋ ಕರನ್ ಬಾತ್ರ ಕೃತಿಕಾ ಭಾಗಿ ಮೇಘಾ ಮಹಾಪಾತ್ರ ಕೆವಿನ್ ಕುರಿಯನ್ ಸಂಜನಾ ಎ ಪೂಜಾ ಬಾರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಈಶಾನ್ ಲಯಾಲ್ ಸಂಗೀತ್ ರಾಜನ್ ಶಾಸ್ತಕುಮಾರ್ ಪಿ ಸಾಯಲಿ ದೇಶ್ ಪಾಂಡೆ ಶುಭಬ್ ರಾವತ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಮಲ್ಬಾರಿ ಹರ್ಷ ಪ್ರಜಕ್ತ ರಾವತ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಓಕೆ ವೇಟ್ ವೇಟ್ ಅತುಲಾಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಎಂ ವಿಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜೋಜ್ ಯೋಶಿ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾತಿ ಮನಿಂದರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಶ್ರಾವಂತಿ ಶುಭಜಿತ್ ಬಾಗ್ ಶುರಜಿತ್ ಬಾಡುಯಿ ಸುಶಾಂತ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸ್ತವ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಣಾಲಿ ಸನ್ನಾಲ್ ಶಿರೀನ್ ಚೌಧರಿ ಆಯುಷ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸುಯೋಗ ಎಂ ಸಾಗರ್ ಜುನೇಜಾ ವೈಭವ್ ಗುಪ್ತಾ ಬ 
वैभव शर्मा यतिन बरकाले विघ्नेश टी स्वाति रोशनी विश्वास अभिलव शर्मा अक्षदीप तिवारी सत्यम चिंगाले आकृति अग्रवाल मंगेश मापके एंडिया जोसेफ राजद गुप्ता ऐसा मूल हक प्रतीक गंडवानी आदित्य लाखानी गौरव सिंह सोम अग्रवाल सिद्धांत गोयल राहुल शर्मा श्रीजान मिश्रा अभिषेक पिंपले राजश्री वर्षा आनंद आमन मनुजा ईशान त्रिवेदी सार्थक वाट सार्थक सोनी सौरभ ठाकर अथर्व पाटिल लाराट बासु मेघना नम्रता जी अनुष्णा पुटागुंटा कार्तिक गोयल आदिति ज्योति 
won't stand in front of you now. Daksh Kumar Dhiman. Swapnil Suravanshi. Mariam Neha. Akshat Brown. Surbi Gupta. Arpit Mahapatra. Anjali Kumari. Vaidik Chatterjee. Vaidik Chatterjee. Ayush Sahai. Do it from there. May I request the graduates who have collected the certificates to settle down, please? Please sit down on your seats. Thank you. Sudan Shushrivastav. Shashank Dhara. Anushri Chandra. Nayana Bino. Devashis Dash. Ingale Pushkar Jant. Gunjita Krawal. Rohan Badgujar. Bhavani Mishra. Krishna Kriplani, Manali Singh, Kriti Rastogi, some applause for your batchmates, PGPM guys, Dikshit Shetty. Saurabh Goel, Manish, K.S. Gokul, Akash Patak. Nishanten, Eshiram, Rohit Gupta, Preksha Gupta, Ankit Kaushik, Abhas Gugnani, Devapriya Sarkar,
केतन शर्मा वेट 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 केतन को खोज नेहा गुप्ता श्वेतांक राज अनमोल चौधरी जीजो थॉमस साई आकाश मोहित नायर वी एस रोमा जोशुआ के एस अदिति बिहानी जयेश नायक आकुल पासी अमोल मुर्तादक मंदिर आदक रूपिका शशांक रुशाल शिंदे मुरलीधर मयूर वरुण शास्त्री विनय राय अमन आसिफ श्रीराम वी शिवम दे आशीष वाजपेयी गंगम्मा मेघा मित्तल मुस्कान आनंद सुभाषिष कर आयु सिंह शेख हैदर अली छपड़ी तरुण रेड्डी सिमत्सा अभिषेक झाकर स्वागत महंती प्रतीक दत्त प्रतीक संचेती अर्पित बलद्वा सार्थक गौड़ आशुतोष गोयल
कृषि बेहाल इस त्रिपाठी स्वराज भर्ज ख्याति गुरेजा ओ गॉड नो यू ओनली वन नेम विल डू रोमारियो बिग एप्लॉज गाइस शशांक नारायणन शशि यादव निनाद शेट्टी रेवंत अक्षय धनगर अभिषेक यादव अभिषेक भट्ट ऐश्वर्या चौधरी अरमन अहमद गुरप्रीत सिंह नेहा सिंह अयर आदित्य श्रीधर अभिषेक दासगुप्ता किशोर कुमार प्रतुष माथुर स्नेहा शेटे पी राघवन आईवन अल्बर्ट सगम लिखिता रवि तेजा टोटली धीरज रेड्डी अरुण के द मेरा धीरज राव निष्ठा चेड्डा शाश्वत मुखोपाध्याय अरित्र राहा सौरभ रॉय सौरदीप सेन संजय पांडा तुम्हारा की सस्पे एक संगे आसो ना कि विमान रॉय तनुष्का गुप्ता प्रत्युष पांडा राहुल देश पांडे अरित्र दास जेनिश लाल चेहता
Deep Gandhi. Anushka Tulsian. Komal Kaur. Rishabh Pranami. Deepti Mishra. Yash Samsukha. Aditya Ranjan. No. Why is I'm Vikas. Okay. Vikas Vatul. Sudip Pandey. Basundar Agarwal. Ruchir Sinha. Gyandeep Shivastav. Anant. Akshay Aruraj. Himan Shuvalia. Raja Singhal. Satyaman. Satyam, right hand. Satyam Bhatt. Omkar Khot. Kiran Palve. Abhishek Agrawal. Amit Kumar. Tanuj Menotra. Kamal Khan. Mayang Gupta. Nitish Gaba. Vikram Patil. Anupam Tripathi. Jeffrey Shiraj Kumar. Mohan Raj. Raveen Kumar. Malvika Prasad. Neha Kirve. Vigneshes. Two men with the hair. Shuban Shukumar. Alan, Alan Christian. Wait. Wait, wait. Shaiba Barora. Nandita Purohit. Pagesh.
विशाल सिन्हा रॉय विपासा बिहोने अंशुल कुमार सिंह तन्मय भिसे Shilpa and give yourselves a big applause PGPM Thank you very much for giving away the certificate sir Congratulations to all the graduates now we have the oath and pledge taking ceremony request the dean to please take it forward Can we all have the graduates please seated? Graduates, please be seated. graduates of the year many congratulations i charge you that in thought word and deed you will ever maintain the purity dignity and integrity of your profession and honor of our institute please rise to take the oath of a great laker please repeat after me i take this oath today to be the best in what i do to be successful in every facet of my work and to live up to the high ideals of my alma mater great lakes institute of management i will leave no stern stone unturned in my journey of seeking knowledge i will strive to bring joy and harmony to my company and my country I will treat my brothers and sisters with pride and give them my best. I will become an asset to my institution which has given me courage, vision and wisdom and will uphold its integrity 
professional ethics and moral character. Please sit down. Thank you. By the way, this is the time to do that. May I now request the dean to sign the passing out batch report, please? Thank you, sir. Please declare the convocation closed. I hereby declare the convocation closed. Thank you very much. I request everyone to please raise for the national anthem. standing till the academic procession leaves the hall. in about 15 minutes. You can collect your certificates and then leave. Thank you.